couple years since you allowed us to be part of your Sunday evening conversations on all matters real estate. The wheel of change has spanned in front of our very eyes as we traveled the farthest corners in our country and beyond, from Mombasa to Kisumu, Nanyuki to Nakuru, Nairobi Metropolis and even Rwanda, in search of an ideal home as well as investments you can put your money on. We have also been at the forefront highlighting emerging topical insights, innovative technologies, interior design trends, changing the future of the real estate landscape. It's definitely not the end. The journey has just begun. On a personal level, it's been delightful when we get inspired with home ownership stories, a mirror of hope to many home seekers, proving that it's indeed doable. I think everybody should come to Modoni when they're looking for land. Wow. Because you didn't waste time. Mm -hmm. I know you went out, and I remember the day when you called me and you said, I found the perfect piece of the land. The perfect piece of land. Today, we rewind the tape and highlight our milestones over the last seven remarkable years of a dream turned into a household brand, inspiring many to look at real estate as an investment venture. You can never go wrong with property. And you may not have the time to actually, you know, get into your car and drive all over town looking at properties. So this is the forum in which you'll have access to all these eh, at very convenient rates and only from the comfort of your living room, you know. Just tune in and you'll be able to see what is upcoming, what is around in all the areas. And I'm sure you can't miss to get something for you to watch. As they always say, there's something for everyone. And for me, for sure it has made a difference. Thank you for joining me on this edition, capturing our milestones so far. Our social media platforms are open. Send in your views and let's engage. Let's get started. As always, there is something for everyone. highlight what the property show is today and what inspired us to start this journey. Seven years ago, the real estate landscape was branded as a corporate investment affair, with many shying away from getting into this space. Many didn't understand it's a full-blown marker of development and investment opportunity. It's hard to believe all I needed to start the property show is believing in the dream myself. I started the property show to provide real estate information and demystify the property ownership process from a trusted platform. This was primarily driven by lack of information when it comes to real estate, with many of my friends losing so much money when trying to get onto the property ladder. I felt it was because of lack of information. Having been in the industry for a long time, I knew exactly where people were dropping the ball and I knew this platform would prick their conscience to work with the right professionals whilst getting the ABCs of the real estate industry. Every day I'm motivated by you, our viewers, the developers and our partners for trusting us and even making us the top of mind brand when it comes to real estate because they know they can trust us. Success. I'm still on the road to be successful, but let me say this. Setting very high goals and believing in yourself is the number one secret of success. I believe success does not come by chance. You must continue working very hard and whatever you aim for, you will get there if you're willing to work hard. Secondly, I let my gut instinct lead me and pay attention to my inner voice.
as an entrepreneur, I'm at a point where I know who to trust and I'm not afraid to take chances. I surround myself with people who celebrate and believe in me. My mantra, life is packed with hurdles. Search for unique solutions in order to climb past them and I learn from my mistakes every day and I move on. Here at The Property Show, we can hold your hand every step of the way. It doesn't matter what you have. We can help you start the journey. One of the most important features on this show is the property pick of the week. For seven remarkable years, we've highlighted residential properties in upcoming and established neighborhoods, apartments, bungalows, maisonettes, standalone homes, as well as site and service land scheme. You name it, we've got it all. Let's rewind the tape and see some residential properties that have captured our eyes. First, Rose Gardens, an intimate project of three bedroom apartments located in Kilimani, an area with a rich mix of culture, is one of the developments we've featured on this show. One of the highlights of this project is beautiful architecture and waking up to beautiful scent of roses. What we knew is we wanted to build somewhere where we would like to live. Uh, okay, let's just be frank, I'm a shag modo. Uh, I grew up in Kikuyu with trees and birds and grass and um, I have lived in the city and I miss that. I miss that quiet, that sense of intimacy and my family, we all felt, let's do this. Let's build low rise, let's build quality, let's build somewhere that is minutes away from everything and yet somewhere that you don't feel that you're living with a whole world. Rose Gardens apartments offer an intimate feel away from the busy and noisy city life. This quality development comprises 31 units of 6 2-bedroom units, 1 penthouse and 24 3-bedroom units with a plinth area of 1,541 square feet. The project is located on Rose Avenue off Dennis Pitt Road, just a few minutes away from various social amenities such as malls, schools, hospitals, just to name a few. Accommodation features include spacious living room with large windows and a balcony area with views of the beautiful Rose Garden, spacious dining area with large windows letting in natural light. A kitchen area fitted with upper and lower wooden cabinets providing storage space locally made granite countertops and a space to fit your normal size cooker. The kitchen leads to a spacious pantry area, more storage space for kitchen supplies. There's also an additional balcony in the kitchen area. Vista's cloakroom, three bedrooms all en suite fitted with handmade wooden wardrobes, a master en suite bedroom with handmade wooden wardrobes for storage space and a balcony. The bathrooms are fitted with WC, a bathroom sink and high quality tiles giving it a nice finish and an ensuite DSQ. The next project we featured on this show is Milimani Homes, a tasteful development tucked away from the hustle and bustle of the city. This development of seven bungalows is in a serene gated community. Here is more.
Milimani homes are three-bedroom ensuite bungalows situated in Kitengela, about 1.5 kilometers off Old Namanga Road and five minutes drive to Kitengela town. It is a gated community secured with a brick wall. Each house sits on a 50 by 100 plot with separate titles. Accommodation includes spacious lounge that opens to a veranda, separate dining area, spacious open plan kitchen, three bedrooms all en suite and plinth area of 155 square meters. Salient features include 24-hour security, parking area, individual garden and adequate water supply. Recently, we featured iTrade Gardens, a luxurious project in a gated community located off the Eastern Bypass. Let's have a look. Trade Gardens consists of 15 units with a splendid blend of five three-bedroom machinettes and ten four-bedroom machinettes comprising of a plinth area of 214 square meters, all with a DSQ. It is located in Roiro, only 900 meters off the Eastern Bypass, behind Engine Petrol Station and 25 kilometers from the CBD on Thika Highway. Accommodation features include the spacious lounge is sunken and is fitted with three large windows which allow in natural light. A functional fireplace is also fitted in the lounge area used to provide warmth during chilly days. From the lounge area is the spacious dining with a large counter that oversees the kitchen, which is an open plan design fitted with upper and lower brown cabinets sufficient for storage spaces, granite countertops and a hood to absorb soot while cooking. The kitchen area leads to the pantry and the dobe fitted with two sinks making washing easy. Still on the ground floor is the ensuite DSQ which is fitted with inbuilt cupboards spacious enough for storage. It also has a door that opens up to the side yard of the home where one can relax and take in fresh air. There is a visitor's cloakroom which guests can use for freshening up during their visit. On your way to the upper floor is the well-designed wooden staircase that adds beauty to the home accompanied by a large window from up to down which lets in natural light and makes your stairway stand out. The upper floor mainly consists of the bedrooms, all en suite with unique bathroom features, fitted cupboards and large windows that allow in natural light. The development has a gypsum ceiling giving it finishing. featuring on this show. cemented its position as a regional hub for businesses. Next, commercial office spaces changing the city skyline. Prism Towers is one such example, providing different office sizes, state-of-the-art amenities, recreational facilities, ample parking, and the list continues.
Located in the new, well-connected business district of Nairobi, Upper Hill, Prism Tower stands out to be the most unique business tower. This development consists of 33 floors of both office space and a parking lot. Features include office sizes from medium to large spaces, giving you a wide range of options to choose from. Offices from sixth floor upwards ensuring a stunning view of the city and minimal noise disturbance. The large windows make the most of the available natural light, designer lobbies and reception area. Social amenities include security cabin at entry and exit of the complex, backup power system generator, fire alarm systems, five levels of parking offering ample parking space for you, your clients and colleagues without the hassle of finding a parking lot, emergency lighting system, swimming pool and gym, jogging track around the building, restaurant with outdoor and indoor seating, rainwater harvesting systems that ensure that our precious natural resources are conserved and reused to keep the surrounding landscape lush and green. Next, Flamingo Towers located in the business district of Upper Hill with 360 degree views of the city. Let's get more details. Flamingo Towers is a premier grade A office building located in the heart of Nairobi's vibrant financial hub, Upper Hill. Construction of the building was completed in 2016 and it consists of 18 floors, 12 levels of office space and 6 floors of parking space that can be accessed by vehicular lifts. Flamingo Towers boasts of high ceilings, wide open spaces, an abundance of natural light and 360 degree views of the city. Government parastatals, telecommunication centers, and law firms are some of the firms hosted in the building. The features include 24-hour manned gate, CCTV surveillance systems and a control room, fiber optic broadband connectivity to high-speed elevators, restrooms and kitchenettes on each wing, elegant lobby spaces, two two-bedroom all ensuite penthouses with provision of a boardroom, provision of a restaurant space, a gym space, MVA power supply with standby generator, underground and overhead water tanks. The building is available to let and for sale. For those looking for a perfect getaway destination within the city, Tamarind Tree Hotel is the place to wine, dine and unwind. The Tamarind Tree Hotel is located in Langata, Nairobi, along Langata Road and just 50 minutes drive from the Nairobi city centre. The hotel is easily accessible from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport via the Southern Bypass or via the Wilson Airport, which is a 10 minutes drive to the Tamarind Tree Hotel. a plot has evolved. It's no longer business as usual. We have seen investors buying prime land in close proximity to social amenities and delivering seamless services from start to completion with a guarantee of access roads, water, electricity, sewer lines and security. Let's have a look at one such project, the Olive Gated Estate, a site and service landscape.
the olive gated estate plots the olive gated estate is a controlled residential only development of service plots of 50 by 100 in size the estate is located at Kenyatta Road, Exit 14, opposite New Rain Hotel and next to Banda Homes, Pinewood Estate, 30 minutes drive from the CBD. Amenities include 9 feet perimeter wall, graded roads, green areas, electricity connection, water connection and borehole. changer in the built environment is alternative building technologies. On this show, we have covered interlocking blocks, EPS, as well as German precast solutions. Here is more. About the stability of the building, it is even stronger than normal bricks because all the walls, you lock all the walls, they lock together and then you hold them with the lintel. I think if you look at this brick, this is nine inches and nine inches is a very bold brick. Although the height is not big, but the stability of the wall is very good because it is nine like normal brick. So according to books, they say the building can last 150 years. Although I've not lived that long to know whether it can be true, yes. But I think according to the houses I've done already for the last eight years, they are still standing strong. The way you lock the brick, if you look at the brick, you can see there is a groove under the brick and there is another groove on top of the brick. You can see there is another groove here. This is called male and there is a female on the other side of the brick. So what you do, you let the male and female come together. You have rocked that brick from behind. Again, if you can see the groove that is under, it is already rocked on the brick. So you come to the fore side of the brick. First you wipe the brick, you see, you make, it, you make sure it's very clean and then you lock again. You lock the male to female. You lock it from under, you lock it from up. Let me show you. This is the upper side. You lock it like this. So let me start from here. So you can see the brick is locked from under, from top side from the side to the side that brick is very comfortable inside there so i can lay like 500 bricks a day so you can imagine how fast that construction can go this is a three bedroom house and it can use like 3500 bricks so you can see if we are two fundis we can lay like 1000 bricks a day that means in in three days work the building will be up for it Designed for the business traveler, holiday makers as well as family has been a venture we have seen emerge, changing the hospitality sector. Famed for their premium space, privacy, flexibility and cost-effective rates, let's have a look at Nabo Residences and Spa as well as Riata Service Apartments. Riata and Nabo are unique properties in my opinion because we offer unparalleled space 
for the price point that, we are, that we're selling our rooms for. We had apartments that we have converted into hotel standard rooms, which essentially gives every one of our customers a suite. And it's very rare to get that much space in a really hustling and bustling city like Nairobi. So we like to offer our guests that amazing space, that comfort and service that they expect from the top hotels in Nairobi or the world for that matter. And we don't compromise on that. We think it's important that every guest is satisfied and happy. So in terms of the amenities that we offer here at our property, Jata Nabo, um, they're wide ranging and with everything you'd expect as well. So we have a brand new swimming pool that has a great fountain that comes from it. We have a new bar by the poolside. We are working on a spa which will be open very, very soon. Gym and you know daily laundry services and turndowns by our cleaning staff. We're all very proud of what we offer here and uh, we think we have every amenity a guest can hope to have. At the property show I can confidently say we've got it all covered we have a rich portfolio of properties in every price range from high-end residential homes in the million dollar mark to decent affordable housing reigniting our hopes of owning homes without the need to break a bank property show, our tailor-made event solutions have been center stage in providing real-time information on the real estate sector. Let's see a highlight of this event. First, our property signature bus tour remains one of the most thrilling events on our calendar. I started the bus tour concept to give home seekers and potential investors a platform to assess different opportunities available in the market, get advice on how to maneuver financial hurdles and unravel legal jargon before finally signing the dotted line. Let's see how this fact-finding tour has grown in the seven years. Some experiences in the property market are not very pleasant. So I think the bus tour gives you that inside confidence. You can say, okay, I saw this and it looked like it was okay. I can explore it some more. It's not just something I had. Um, also, the other problem is sometimes when you look at something in a picture, it, can, it cannot be the same. The colors, the designs, the aesthetics, it's not the same as what you see physically. Time also, we're working people, we never have enough time. So combining four or five houses together, makes it easier for me, I can block a day off and say today I'm seeing five properties and I'll be able to go back home with an informed choice. For today the bus tour has been quite amazing, it's been informative, there's a lot to learn in the market. I've gotten a legal aspect of it because uh, there's a legal team, so I can really say the bus tour has been quite informative for today. I tell the other, the rest of the Kenyans who've never attended the bus tour that they are missing out on a lot. They are missing out on good information, good knowledge. There's quite a number of educational staff. You meet a team that has the same agenda as you, so you tend to partner on a similar journey. So they should attend the bus tour. I'll definitely do another bus tour until I get my investment, my ideal investment that I'm looking for. milestone we are proud of is being part of the expos across the country. This gives us an opportunity to interact with buyers, developers, as well as service providers. Other events that have kept us on top of the cap on what's happening in the sector include diaspora engagement forums, connecting the diaspora with ideal investment options in the country. Corporate talks, partnering with financial institutions on mortgage products available in the market, as well as industry insights. Open days and groundbreaking ceremonies are events that give us pipeline of what's coming up. And when 
it comes to launching products for the real estate sector, I can proudly say we are the go-to platform. At the early days of the show, we launched Zuku's affordable, innovative communication solutions. We have also been part of the evolution of Orange and Telcom products. And guess what? When Safaricom was launching their 4G network, they knocked on our doors. And when Kenya Power wanted to reach Kenyans across the country, we were that go-to platform. Let me take this opportunity to thank all our partners for trusting us with their products. The impact has been felt. Last year, the Property Show was named the most preferred and trusted real estate TV show in the region. We are humbled by this recognition as Antene Sana. Best Property TV Show of the Year 2018. We all know it, right? Oh, it's nice. Up next, the accessory sports. Over the seven-year period, the face of interior design has changed, providing fresh innovative ideas. the notable organizations at the heart of these changes include Dotash Home Furniture with a range of quality products from living, dining and bedroom areas as well as complementary accessory pieces. Let's see what they have in store for us. The Kenyan market has that uh, need for good brands, lifestyle, because what we what we are dealing in Dotash, we are not just selling furniture, we are selling a statement, and these statements uh, depict lifestyle, a certain lifestyle. We are not doing so much traditional, but as you can see around, most of our products range from contemporary, mostly. Now, contemporary comprises a little touch of traditional and a little touch of modern, so it's in there between. We try to to suit everyone's need meaning that we have uh, from high-end products to mid-level product to entry level which is very economical basically everybody can can afford here at Dotash we do customization but our customization that we do it's only focused on sofa so what we do is we provide uh, various colors of the sofa we provide various fabrics uh, textures as well like let's say for example we have option of all these colors that a customer can choose and this is all depends with the themes the themes that the customer wants let's say for example the the theme of the customer is rustic so we are able to match that with all this this is these are all uh, rustic themes so yes we do customizations with a real-life experience of transforming spaces with interesting, emerging trends of architectural moldings, decorative paints, natural stones, as well as wall covering, one of a kind for anybody looking for a wow effect in their home. Describe classic molding. Well, we are a company that uh, decided uh, many years ago in 1991 to introduce to Kenya new trends in interior design, uh, interior design as interior design tools. And we introduced in the beginning uh, moldings, and that's why we called ourselves classic moldings for architectural moldings. Break down the range of products that we can find at classic molding. Well, uh, moldings, architectural moldings were the first uh, tool or the first items and nowadays we keep 
hundreds of thousands of meters of architectural moldings, cornices, panel moldings, columns, and then we have natural stone. Natural stone brings you back to the Roman time, Greek time, palaces, and we, we refer to natural stone a little different than just marble and granite. It's more raw look and very classy. And then our biggest part is wall applications, wall finishes, uh, decorative paints, name it, whatever you want to name it, and it is a world on its own. And it's never ending. I mean, uh, if you do walls well, it's a dream. And uh, we do wall coverings at times uh, when uh, clients desire it. Beams in the ceiling is, uh, or the wooden beams, give a great look. It gives a look of nature. At the same time, you preserve the forest. You don't cut uh, forests and it's a kind of a recyclable material. We are taking a short break. Still ahead, unique and inspiring home ownership stories, and so much more. We'll be right back with more milestones achieved in our seven year of being a part of your property conversation. Keep it property show. We are back with our remarkable seven years milestone edition. Up next, my favorite segment of the show. Yes, with inspiring and unique home ownership stories. It's the satisfaction I draw from success stories of dreams to own a permanent residence that keeps me going and doing this over and above everything else. The cake, according to me, is big enough for all of us. Let's look at some favorite personal experiences we've shared over the years. Welcome home, Asante Sana. What a beautiful home, Susie. I can't believe how it came out so well. So we wanted something that would be really long-term, something that would see us through to even when the children have their own children. Having looked around, I just couldn't find anything that I really liked. So at some point we decided, let's build. And that's the point at which I came to see you. And remember, I was very specific, Mudoni. Yes. I told you, Mudoni, I want land in Runda. And um, what I loved about you and I think everybody should come to Modoni when they're looking for land. Wow. Because you didn't waste time. I know you went out and I remember the day when you called me and you said, I found the perfect piece of the land. The perfect piece of land. And we came here to look at the land. And even before we entered, I just <laughs> fell in love with it. Because first and foremost, it was surrounded by neighbors who were already living here. So I knew that once we build, we're not going to have construction around us. Yeah. And of course, when we walked onto the land, I couldn't believe it. It was just so beautiful. And I just actually remember thinking that God had kept this piece of land for us. How would you advise somebody out there how to manage their finance during construction? Well, that's very, very important. Personally, um, the financing came from our own reserves. And what people need to do is whether you're financing your home from your own reserves or whether you're going to go and borrow money. It's even more important that you keep to your timelines because what happens is once you start construction, you don't want to stop, you know, because if you stop, your contractor is going to hit you with penalties and all sorts of things. Again, it's about planning. You have to have your financing in place because once you start, it's unbelievable how quickly the, the process unravels. Mimi ni Richard na boss uh, Sako. In 2014 wakati ile group ilikuwa imetumwa kitengera irudi na good news. Nilikuja nyanyuki in 2020 or 2002. Na kutoka hiyo wakati nimekuwa nikiishi nyumba ya rental. 
Na sasa wakati nimesikia tunajegewa nyumba nilifurahi sana kwa sababu nilijua nitatoka kwa nyumba ya rent. Bahari hii nyumba ziko kutoka town sio bari. Hata unajua nikiingia hapa najua for example nimeishi kwa Rad Road for more, more than 20 years. Nikikosa kulipa nyumba mwezi moja na kuja anifa, hata kuja anifuki. Hakuna wakati Rad Road atakuwa biasa. Lakini nikiingia hapa nikilipa hii nyumba hakuna mtu hatawahi kubishia hiyo mlango akiniishi akini it is a rent. So hiyo ni kitu moja inaniweka molala. After five years, kulipa hiyo nyuba, hakuna mtu tutaulizana na hee. Whether starting with a saving of 50 shillings only, or a jump start from a long-term saving plan, the key word will always be, start where you are. With that, home ownership will always be achievable. And this encouragement is what makes this segment my favorite. You've probably heard the saying, never wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait. After the success of the property show, we spread our wings, launching the First Avenue properties, providing a one-stop shop on all things property. The First Avenue has a story of its own, best told by my colleague Annie, who has seen the idea grow from scratch to what it is today. Let's catch up with her. I was introduced to Nancy by a mutual friend. And when I met her, she told me about her dream of educating and helping Kenyans understand the processes of buying property. But she wanted to do this on television. So we got together, we talked about how we would, we would do it. In those days, we didn't have an office. So we would meet in coffee shops, we would meet in, in car parking lots, anywhere where we could sit and talk about how we were going to progress this idea. So my initial role was basically to look for developers, to look for experts in the industry, professionals. So I would go and meet the, uh, the professionals, I would go and meet architects or uh, interior designers, all the professionals in, in this industry and, and try and get them to understand this concept of the show and bring them to the show to be featured, show, show what their skills are, show their projects and sell their projects through the show. My first paying client was a developer who had a vision. He knew he needed to advertise his project and he also wanted to put it in the newspaper so I met him like three times and by the third time he told me okay this is my plan I'd like it in the newspaper and I'd like it simultaneously to be on the show so we had to schedule the shoots and everything to work that way he had a really good reaction he had that he did the newspaper he did the television and he also did an open day all around the same time. So the value add was enormous for him. As we continued to do the show, we had a lot of feedback. We received a lot of feedback from viewers as well as developers um, asking us, okay, we've seen a property on television. How can we get there? How, what's the next step? So we thought about it and decided perhaps we should open a property shop where people can come and actually have a place where they can see brochures, speak to somebody, talk about the property, and you know, and that would also give us an opportunity to take them to the projects. This would also give the developers extra value. So that's what we did. First Avenue was initiated perhaps maybe three or four years after the show. So at First Avenue, we provide a wide range of products such as large tracts of land and plots for sale. We have plots from 350,000 or less if it's outside Nairobi, like uh, say for instance, Naivasha or Namuki. We also have apartments and single dwelling homes for let and to sale. At uh, First Avenue, we also offer a bus tour where people are able to meet developers and engage with them one-on-one. -on -one. And also during the bus tour, there are uh, financial and legal advisors. We have other products 
uh, which add value to the developers, such as activations like groundbreaking ceremonies, open days, uh, handover ceremonies. We attend expos. We also attend conventions and roadshows in the diaspora. So all these things can add value to a developer if they are in partnership with the First Avenue. In the seven years the property show has been airing, we have changed the segments of the show, which also means that there are inquiries we receive for other things other than properties, such as accessories, furniture, uh, tiling. We also get inquiries about where can I get uh, lighting, carpets, just everything that you need in your home, we have had inquiries on. So we provide advisory services. We advise people who they can talk to if they're looking for an interior designer, where they can buy their roofing material, where they can buy cement, where they can get solar solutions. All these things we can give you advice on. During this seven year journey, we have met several professionals in this industry. So we have relationships with architects, quantity surveyors, valuers, interior designers, contractors, the whole value chain. We will be able to give you at least one name of one professional. As in any business, there are challenges you will come across along the way. So there may have been a few, but we view them as opportunities to keep improving on service delivery and providing new content for viewers. During these past seven years, it has been a privilege to be in this space and to be able to meet entrepreneurs and developers who each one has provided something special, something different. It's never the same and the opportunities are boundless and borderless. So if you're a developer and would like to plan a groundbreaking ceremony, an open day, or a handover ceremony, First Avenue is here to help you. We are your property partner. Indeed, the property show in First Avenue is the one-stop shop for anyone looking to get onto the property ladder. Just visit our offices and let's get you started on this journey. Thank you for watching The Property Show. Let me share the most important lessons I have learned over the seven remarkable years. Working with your own contracted lawyer is a must in any property transaction. Do not rely on the seller's legal counsel. Secondly, engage professionals in the sector, whether you're buying or building. Insights from surveyors, valuers, and financial institutions will always make the transaction seamless. Thirdly, start where you are. The key word is just start. We have products in every range. Get into a saving culture and understand your financial status before committing to any property deal. Remember buying property is not a one-day transaction. Take your time. And for developers, it's important to work with interior designers from the onset. I can tell you, it impacts the layout positively. Finally, understand the real estate trends as well as the returns before signing the dotted line. We treasure your company and thank you for allowing us to be part of your Sunday evening conversations on All Matters Real Estate. Next week, it's all about our just concluded signature bus tour. You can't afford to miss that episode. Always there is something for everyone. Quahiri.